Why Governor Nwike and other governors have not dumped PDP? Party chieftain Obasaki Pedro says, Wow. Yeah, because the kind of confusion that is in PDP right now uh, with the two factions, one is Atiku IU faction, another faction is Nwike and the G5 group. And the G5 group, including Nwike, their leader, are fighting PDP but are still in PDP, they have not left. Well, one will be wondering why. By now, they should have defected or something else would have happened. So let's hear why they are still in the PDP. A prominent politician in Edo State and a chieftain of the PDP's presidential campaign council, Pedro Obasaki, has revealed some details regarding the conflict with the party as next year's election draws nearer. Speaking on VOP, Obasaki explained why Governor Nwike and his allies could have decided to remain in the PDP. Addressing the topic, Obasaki said the PDP has always been a democratic party. Someone described the five aggrieved governors as rogue governors and other persons has called for their expulsion over anti-party activities. However, these do not align with the modus operandi of my principal. Atiku believes that there must be continuous engagement with the aggrieved governors until the last day. He continued, PDP leader Bode George said that 24 hours in politics are like a lifetime. Right? There is time and the election is still next year. Serious moves are ongoing regarding the conflict and the rebel groups have not discounted it. Right? So if the aggrieved governors were so dissatisfied and they did not see the future within the PDP, I think they would have dumped the party. Wow. So they've seen that there's still future in PDP, that's why they're still in the party. Right? Um, Atiku, uh, Winke vowed that he will never leave the party for anybody. So he's still there. Until he gets what he wants, he will continue to be there to rock the boat for them. If the governors were so dissatisfied that they did not see the future within the party, I think they would have dumped the party. They have not done so because the room has room for accommodations. Oh boy. So PDP has enough room for accommodation. So they understand the, the enormity of their quest and the damage they are doing to the party brand. I think they will come back home before the election. Wow. So the reason um, Wiki and his people have not left the party, from what I can hear Obasaki say here, is that first of all, there is room in the party for rooms. Or there is more room for rooms, so meaning, meaning they have not exhausted all the opportunities they need um, to resolve the conflict. All right? And meaning that the PDP aggrieved governor, they have room, they can come back, and uh, they are ready to accept them. And they're saying that next year is still too far and uh, they can always uh, resolve the issue before the election next year. All right. So somebody is that the, the Obasaki is quoting uh, Bode George here, saying that 24 hours in politics is like a lifetime because a lot can happen within 24 hours. That is what it means. A lot can happen within 24 hours. So it means that if it, 24 hours can actually accommodate a lot, between now and next year election, which is though below 100 days away, um, we have, it's also too much for them to resolve their issues. So, and again, the reason the aggrieved governors have not left the party is because they still see opportunities in the party. They still see the future in the party. All right. So it means that the, the party still have a lot of potential and the Atiku, sorry, Nwike and his group cannot just work out of party that had developed themselves over the years into a new party where they'll be received as migrants and then they start all over again. That would make sense, actually. That would make sense, actually. Are they going to go to APC? They will not give them the level of respect and regard they have in PDP now. Will they go to Labour Party? That place already choked for them because Peter Obi is a force. And even uh, obedience will not even accept them into a Labour Party. 
I don't going to go to NNPP. No, that is a party that has not even broken through out of the north. No, talk of breaking through Middle Belt to the south. So where AAC or PROP or YPP or CUPP, which one? Where are they going? Okay. So the truth here is that they can't go anywhere. They will remain in the party because that is where they are most relevant. Um, Mwike has opportunity there to become a presidential candidate in future. Mwike has opportunity there to become the party chairman even as of today. So he has more opportunities. He has more rooms in, in PDP than any other political party. So he can't just migrate out of the party. And that was why he's vowed that he is still in that party and he will not leave PDP for anybody. Reason being that he has worked for the party uh, for a very long time. I remember after Good Luck Jonathan's uh, presidency, he went back home. Um, that party was in a very serious uh, confusion and trouble under their former chairman, Secundus. And then, I don't know, they walked it and they removed Secundus and they brought in Ayu. And in all, during that period, they were fighting with Secundus. The party was nowhere. There was no leadership. There was nothing happening. The party was not going forward. It was stagnated. And it was Wiki that stood with a former Fayoshi, former governor of Ikiti State. Then, the way Wiki is talking now, Fayoshi was talking like that at that time. Fayoshi talk, 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 you know. Now, uh, Wiki are taking over the role of Fayoshi now. And now, they held the party tight till now that the party has gotten in shape. And now, um, um, Atiku could still uh, come back and then win and win primaries under the party. So what it means that Mwike has worked over the years to stabilize this party and will not leave the party for anybody. He vowed to remain in that party and they will rock the boat together. And generally, it's obvious that Mwike has a better future in PDP. PDP still has great potentials in the future and that is why they will not just boot out like that. And that is what Obasaki Pedro, a chieftain of PDP in Edo State, is saying here, throwing more light and explaining why these five agreed governors have not decamped from the party. They can't just decamp. One, they still believe that they will resolve their differences before the election next year. They still have enough time. They still have enough room. And the party has enough potential. And individuals also have better potentials in PDP than any other political party. So they won't just, just zoom out of PDP like that to somewhere else. That is why they are still in the party. Right? But the question is, you know, some people have called for the expulsion of these five agreed governors. But that has not happened because both Atiku and PDP still believe that their issues can be resolved and they still have enough room for all of them to work together. All right? Now, the, the, the agreed governors called themselves G5. From G5, they migrated to become integrity group. But some other persons within the party that are not in their clique um, is calling them um, rogue governors. <laughs> so these are rogue governors and they should be expelled from the party for their anti-party activities. Actually, the anti-party activities is so huge, uh, especially with Wiki being the ringleader and inviting people from other political parties to commission projects for him. Right? He invited the uh, Governor Babajide Suwolu of uh, Lagos State, invited the uh, Oshomole, invited the uh, Peter Obi of Labour Party, invited the uh, Omahi of uh, APC from uh, Boeing State, all to come and uh, help him to commission his project in River State. All of these are anti-party activities that ordinarily the party leadership will not condone. But unfortunately, um, he's still doing it and uh, the party is still condoning it. And the belief is that they still have more room ahead to resolve their differences. So these are their reasons from uh, Basaki Pedro why these agreed governors are still in PDP, why they have not done PDP. Let's have your own comment. Let's have your own views as well. Why you think that these governors are still in PDP rather than decamping to other political parties? Thank you for hearing and let's have your comments for sharing.